Hi, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit your Dora AI generated site and how to make it an actual live site. First, let me show you some basic editing techniques. The shortcut for direct selection is holding command and click. For example, if I want to change this text, I could direct select this text box and fill in a different line of text. I can also change its width in the right panel. And if I want to change the padding of this hero section, I can fix the values over here under the constraint section. If I like to replace any images of my own, first direct select the image and go to assets, select upload image and choose your own image, wait for it to upload. I can also make this image set as contain or cover. Next, let me show you how constraints and responsive layout work in the editor. First, while you might be familiar with units like pixels, we can also use relative units like percentages to make elements responsive. And if I have a title or a line of text, I can either set it as a relative unit or set it to hug contents. In order to ensure this text box maintains a consistent distance from the image, I can connect the top dot to the image's bottom and set the distance under constraints. See how now it moves along with the image, and if we want to center align this text, we can connect the left and right dots. We can also center align by clicking this icon right here. And don't worry, Dora AI has already helped apply these responsive practices to your page. We can group these two together by pressing Command and G. Let me add a color fill so that you can see it better. And if we want to make this image responsive inside the container, let's first center align it and set its width to 40%. It is 40% of its father container's width. Or we can set it to fill space so that it fills up the entire width. Another way to make this container responsive is to set its width and height to hug contents so that it always contains the contents inside for every viewport. We can also add some paddings to it under the constraints section. For a more detailed tutorial on constraints, you can click on the link on the right. Now that you understand constraints, we can go back and try to edit sections in your AI generated page. If you want to add a section somewhere, first let's drag this bottom part out and delete this top constraint and then click on the icon on top and drag out a new container. Connect this top to the previous section's bottom and then remember to set the distance at zero. We can set the width to fill space and drag this until we get the height we want. Don't forget to reconnect the next section's top to its bottom and set the distance at zero. Let's change the color to match the page and then we can rename this container. Let's call it new section and then move it in between the other sections. Now let's add an image in here. Let's select this astronaut image and then set its width and height both to fill space so that it fills up the container. And I'd also like to add some paddings on the side for the section. Next, let me show you how to add links to elements on your page. If you want to make this button clickable, the quickest way is to go to Event, Add an Interaction, choose Open Link, and paste in your destination URL. You can check out more tutorials on how to create interactive components in your YouTube channel. And lastly, once we're done editing the sites, let me show you how to publish it. Go to the publish button on the top right and then click on set up your subdomain. Save it and then click publish online. Wait for it to publish and voila, you now have a live site. Hope you find this tutorial helpful and have fun exploring these features on your Dora AI generated site.